TNC Predator going up against PG Barax. This could be running down the left track here. Happy's got two sacks on him. He's probably going to get a third as well. There's no silence for the Pengali yet. And with IU just running down this left track, aiming perfectly, does miss his target. Oh, the fourth just actually pins him. Is it enough? The fifth. Oh, first blood onto IU with some shadow poisons. So it's in built crit is pretty good. Stun comes out. Tim's just gonna pull Spaceman back into the party. And with a bit more damage going out from TNC, this should be a second kill. Who takes it? It's gonna be Cuckoo, but they might lose Tim's for it. If Frit jumps in, actually use the time walk going. Mean, there's a stun from Cuckoo to save the day. Tim's jumps away. He's fine. Keeping him as far back as he can, but Tim's is already here. Level two. Looking to get level three. He'll like and power, but he can just push disruptor back in. Stun comes out. He can skewer him back in to this chaos side. They get some good crit damage coming off. No time locks. He's being procced. Yeah, but the time lapse will slow them down. Maybe enough. All the damage going back on Tim's though. But top lane, everybody's EP is on in. They're actually going to pull back and cook it under the tower. Get the Tarana, get the Chaos Knight. Armel is here. They've already used the exit at least. But with the Fun Strike trying to break down the Flame Guard, they can move on in. Maybe to cleave as well with damage. It's a nice kill coming out for PG. Armel actually hasn't left. He wants to get Disruptor, will get Disruptor, but he does get Thunder Strike before. The X is almost there. But the Chronosphere, it puts Kunker in it. He needs to use the X as soon as it's done, but they don't have enough damage yet. They're going to move on forward. They jump on forward, but the Torrent is there. Doesn't actually land. Now with the Sun going back on Face Void, pushing him into Tower Rage. They should have the damage to take him out. Ifrit, a double kill coming to Armel. Ifrit just farming on up. They might find Cuckoo here. Here we go. So didn't move fast enough, but Spaceman, he's seen him. We've got the axe. We've got the both disruption. No, not gonna, the spell's not going to be there. Good enough. A Kuk with the Torrent in the air, and they're actually going to hold him effect with the kinetic field, but he's just going to pull back and disrupt it. But so far, Disruptor's still alive, and Kuku may be the one who dies for this. Comes back in, but gets killed anyway. We have the haste rune. We have the phase boost. We have the drums almost coming. In fact, here we go. PG's coming. Kuku will TV in first. Gets the axe on the cabbie, but he's just... Disrupted before he can pull back into a torrent, but here we go. Magical damage comes out. They're actually going to be popping all up with the Phantom Strike, but it's enough to take out Gabby. He's got the ult ready and jump on in. The Lash Track is going to be dead. They pull back in Troll, but they do get the Lash Track. The boat's off the mark, but with the ult popped on Gabby, he's still going to stay alive. But there goes the Cleave. They get one at least. And there's a Static Storm onto the Chronosphere just to get Armel. And PG, they're going to get two big kills. They tank the tower and they rinse and repeat until the gold lead is enough. Uh, they need to time this perfectly. Pengalu does get a silence. He gets a disarm, so he does get disrupted himself, but there should be enough damage to take on IU with a nice little burst. Spaceman gets the kill, but Cuckoo's already here, going to be pulling back in. Spaceman, Gabby's actually going to be coming on in too, but he does get glimpsed away. At least for now, doesn't join the kill, but Cuckoo's got enough damage to take Spaceman out. But uh, mid lane, in fact, they're going to go on Kunk of Trump, pulling back in, but there's a Santa Storm to keep Gabby back. With the jump on in, they do miss their shackles, but in we go to Armel, coming on into the Kunker, just running on two. Harpy has made a trip down, he's holding the sun, at least for now. Kunker's getting melted down, but disruptions there, and the Chronosphere! It's on the three, they need some more damage, though, they don't have a cleave, but they do have a torrent, and the control's there, but Armel gets hit by the torrent, the RP on three, in behind, and Gabby cleans up. Cuckoo pulls back in Kunker, and that's a team wipe onto PG. Unless they can catch Bangalia, but Gabby is going to bounce at least. Do they take it? Torrent being pumped. Torrent being pumped. Torrent being X comes out. Boat comes in. But on the backside, we've got TNC. Chronosphere could be used, but the Static Storm is going to be holding Armel in place. And there's the Chrono. No disruption from the Shadow Demon. Ifrit playing it perfectly. But now Cuckoo's making it. He's going to be pulling back in the face of all, but rolling through. Keeps Cuckoo back. They do buy back on Armel instantly to pull him back in to keep PG. Can't like unwind, but Ifrit already dead. Happy's going to be controlled as well. But this is the buyback from Ember. He needs to pay off. He can't die. He's going to actually get himself less strikes as well. The Yule Scepter saves him for now, but he's going to be dead anyway. Stomp does land. They get Armel. That's a dieback. 69 seconds. Going to pull back in. The Gabby on the troll here with the Torrent as well. He's going to be empowered up, ready to fight. But whiff. The sun's coming up from Pangolier. There's a double RP though. Gabby needs to do some damage. He's disarmed as well. But there's his ult being popped. There's the disarm coming back from the Kunker. He's got the Hellbird. But now Gabby's got the damage again. Pull back into Torrent. Do they have enough damage to take him out now? No, they're going to screw him away. Pull back in. Godlike on this Pangolier. One more damage coming out with the Chaos Bolt. They've got the Pangolier. The damage on the backside. They should be able to get Kunker as well. Going to be trying to CP out. But they should have the damage. Or not. Surprisingly good solution here, but oh god, if it's being pulled on that, the RP being used, and this dead face is void. All right, kill on the other side. TNC not to be outdone. They're happy to kill your cause too, but face is void, not going to be buying back. But Gambi is doing Roche. So that was the perfect kill. The absolute perfect kill. They don't have Chronosphere anymore. They do have Pangolier in the Roche pit. 
That's one of the biggest things they've got right now. They've got a torrent coming in. There's no vision yet, but they're actually going to pull Gabby out. Here we go. Boat comes in. He can't run out from this one. Destruction comes out. Gabby going BKB pop. He wants this. Happy coming in too, but who's going to take it? Who can get this? We get the Chronosphere. It holds her in place, but Gabby gets the Aegis. Static Storm being used. Happy going to do magical damage, but the BKB stops any of it. Armel on the backside running out of mana, but now we've got a DD'd up Pangalee just running against the wall. Back in the, into the Roach Pit, rolling back, but with the Chronosphere is done, they need to back out. Cuckoo is just waiting for his chance to pull back in Pangalee, but the sun comes out, pulls him back in, and Godlike is hiding in the trees at least Kukum hunting him down the other side Ifrit just being controlled between two Insnare down and now he's dead and with Lashrak TPing in with the buyback I think Happy's just gonna die back to give another kill to TNC that's going we've got another five from they can't mega sites we've got a tier two on the bottom let's do it guys we're a team you're a team without buybacks you're a team that's a 19k gold deficit didn't see having none of it, but Happy gonna be found out by it. Does he get ensnared up? That's gonna be the question. If he does, he gets, he's dead. But with the dive need to be used up, the squash buckle off the mark, but Goldmine gonna go in. No, he's just gonna get disrupted anyway. Sandstorm being used onto a Shadow Demon solo. They lose themselves, DB. They're gonna lose themselves. Are you with the RP onto two? And now TNT just turn it the other way. The boat doesn't really land because BKB's been popped by Gabby. And melting away on PG's chances of even winning this game. Chronosphere does get pumped up, but Gabby's on the outside. He jumps on out, TP's out, he knows his is not going to do anything, and Happy, the disruption for my you. It gets different, it gets Happy, and that is game one going to TNC. It's game two between TNC and PG. Space Man getting pretty low though. Gotta be careful, two sacks of poison, might get a third eye, he pops out Mango, he knows he can get the kill, he has the damage coming out, Spaceman, just trying to fly away, but they do get more illusions coming out from Ifrit, not enough, they lose Spaceman, the first one goes to DNC, and that brings that 1k gold lead pretty much into effect here, it's not going to be shifting anytime soon. Tim just messing up, actually mid lane, we're going to see him, them go on, ah, oh, Mal, this might be the kill they need on this OD in the mid lane, but he's moving, he's moving pretty fast, another damage with the imprisoned away. Armel lives to see another day. He's all good. We lose happy in the bottom. And we do get a return kill on Tim's. Godlike DB not going to let him walk away without getting nothing. But Cuckoo will be able to walk away. But this tower is still up at least for now. And they, PG, they've got what they came for. But now maybe they want to run. The Chronosphere is going to be pumped up. Not used onto the Kunky yet. But with the stun back onto him. There's going to get damage and Torrent and the Ensnare onto this Void. And they take him out. Gabby goes down without using the Chronosphere. He waited too long, but the hammer has dropped, and Kunka might finally go down. Armil does claim it. Nagasar, I'm going to get Song off. Does. But does he have mana to TP out? He doesn't. He's got to run the long way down. They will have track. They will be able to get it, but the song's done. Tim's is waiting. Ifrit needs to move faster, but with the skill, with the RP, being whiffed. Yep, there it is. That's a good Nagasar in here, but... Oh, OD getting caught out. Does he time it the boat, though? It lands perfectly on his face. So he can get an extra sun from Leshrak just to seal it in. But there's the Ashram Prisman. They do have a Chronosphere this time for Gabby. But when is he using? Maybe to save Armel here. Happy's running at the Magical Damage GX to pull him back in. But do they have enough? He can't save it with right click comes out. But there's the Chronosphere on the back. It catches out Kunga. But Leshrak, the cold embrace, saves him. He's still popping that ult right on off. But Gabby's going to be jump, trying to jump away here. DB rolls on through to find Gabby. But there's a Torrent of Control from PG. And they get another. Sentry being placed down, in fact, that scout out. Cuckoo just moving on forward, doesn't really care, but they do have, yeah, Winter's Curse. Even the roll, they're going to bring in a third Naga Siren's there, just to hold him in place, but the roll, yeah, kind of off the mark here. Ayu's going to be flying on either side with disruption if he needs to. He does get disruption off. Gabby with the Chronos, we have no 37 seconds away. Going to be fighting on the Winter Wyvern, though. They do get the rolls, they do get Swashbuckle, and if it does get that kill in space, man, just trying to get the Colonel Brace, but doesn't survive the time lock damage. There's the song, it does catch on to three. But with the boat coming in, they need to time it perfectly. They pull it off, they get the boat, they get the torrent, they get the damage, but Gabby jumps it all off. RP the silence. They're holding back Tim's. He might even die. He does get disruption off to save his RP, but he just dies anyway. The swashbuckle from DB. Cuckoo getting there with all the tracks. Gabby just going to be manning up in the chronosphere. Is going to be ready in six seconds, but he dies before he can get it off. They finally get the Naga Siren, but if another does pick up, they're going to find Cuckoo too. He is disarmed. He is going to get controlled, and with the exhale, with another swashbuckle, they get another. Can they get IU? DB wants it. He needs it. But can he find it? He gets to the side. He gets to vision. But the disruption, the torrent is perfectly tied by PG with another little stun. That's a team wipe. That will allow. Oh, there's your dust. There's your X. There's your torrent. Oh, off the mark again. But there's your imprisonment. Save this day. 
Oh, Sirens, come on in, but this might be the Chrono Sphere that you've been waiting for. Gabby moving on forward. He can press the button, but the song! The hammer is dropped to BKB. Is there. They need to take out Naga Siren, but there's a Winter's Curse to save them. Gabby needs Chrono Sphere this time, but he does get the X back on him to keep him back. The time lapse being used to keep Kunker back here. But he's waiting. He's silenced again. He needs to get back. He cannot die with a Blink Dagger into the turret. The damage from PG. There's your imprisonment. Can he Chronosphere it this time? The stomp on the backside. Gets him. Gabby by the RP. It's on three. They need more damage. They're doing the orbs. They disarmed the OD with the Hellbird from Kunkka. Armel can't do any damage, so the RP works out to be nothing. They do get Colin Brace. They do get Humpy, but they get Armel as well. No buyback between them. But what can you do? There's no cause up except for Cuckoo and Cuckoo's level 11 right now. Okay, Tim's gonna pull you back into the tower range. Maybe get the space man for the trouble. But he has a golden brace on himself to make it the most annoying kill of the Winter Wyvern possible. Gabby, yeah, uh, Tim's runs out of mana, runs out of life. I is gonna be running on back too, but Kunker gets that kill as well. And with the Diffuser Blade, with the X, and with the Control, they're gonna find himself a Bounty Hunter in the end. Unless he can get out of the vision? No, he cannot. The Insane that with Bangalore just jumping in the back to seal that one off. Alright, Cuckoo in the back could break the smoke, but... Who are we gonna find? Smoke is broken. Cuckoo might be found here, but anybody got dust? They don't need dust. They just run away with the drums. X on the backside, but here comes the Chronosphere this time. Time lapse. Matter being dry, but a song onto Gabby. He doesn't have the BKB. Song is done. The boat does land, and Gabby is dead. No, he's banished away, but Armel right at the end. The BKB off the pop by OD, but there she went, guys. And now Gabby's just hitting his friend. He saved his life, and now he loses his life anyway. Disarm onto OD. He drops his hand, but it doesn't do any damage. GG just being called by TNC. There's the battle. But are you? And this is game two going to PG Barracks. And it's gonna be offlane Pango again. It's gonna be safe lane draw with the Tusk. So, other side, Kuku will be careful. Just gonna be divine further up. So, he's got some amp up damage. But then, if it just works on the backside, just trying to take down Kuku to half HP. He's got a self, he's got a stick, he's got some damage. But they're doing some more damage to Spaceman. He's running on the back with first blood. Goes to Spaceman this time. Kuku gets it. If it's running away from it, the nice little bash comes out for Kuku again. But the axe is flying. You gotta be careful that if it's not dying, the help of Tusk. Level 3, two points in tag team. They're going to get the avalanche and shot to block them off. And with the tag team in the back, they should have the damage. The right clicks to come out and get that kill for Tiny. Hopefully, with the DOS, they give it to him. And PG, they're not going to be prepared for this. Jen is like, yep, but guess who I brought with me? It's your old friend, Puck. But DB's back on the other side, just blows away IU. Going to get the roll on the backside. Tim's is going to be there, but can you actually get the target on? He can't dodge this ball this time, but with the tree in the face. Yep, Magic Man's dead, Armel. Just going to be trying to help out with DB with a double kill. Enigma's getting some closer to his minus. That's good, but oh boy. Dream Coil. Happy is gonna be pretty much... What are you doing, Tusk? You're trying to snowball save him, but you can't. There's your snowball save, though. Sounds on the backside. Got to get Sans. I need some more punch. Happy's dead with Dagger coming on the backside, but they've got Azura in the thing. Chen is gonna be dead. I use this. Gonna get slapped down by Azura on one side, but can actually get Gabby in the other. Gonna toss him in the air. He could jump back up to the high ground, but he is silenced. They get the silence. They get the tree, and they get the kill. Azura could be careful with how he walks, but Tiny's been found out. Tim's picks him up, and there's two Centaurs running him. They're gonna get double summon, but there's your dream call on the backside. Armel comes in, but here comes a TPs. So ball lands on the Tim's. They're gonna get the shards in the punch, and they throw Happy on with the black hole onto Cuckoo. The damage is gonna come on out. The three men stun is there, but they're slowly gonna run him down. Do they have any more control? They don't need control when you just toss the troll onto Cuckoo with the axes. Oh, Armel with the blink on in. He's using Blink Ready. The orb's going to come out. They're just going to follow him through and actually get the shards on the Tim. So Tim's is going to be dead again. But Armel does survive, at least for now. The back side, they're going to TP in everybody. Gabby's going to come in for the final. Zora's going to be there too, but he's gross of hay up. But that's a double damage to help him out too. It's going to amp him up. But there's a dream call on the backside with the suns on the two. Can they do anything? They can't even get a black hole. In fact, they don't even have... They've used a black hole. If it's going to be between three, he actually pops his ult, going to be ready to fight. But they're just going to kite him and blow him up. Ifrit is gone. Spaceman has been found, but can he survive? He's going to try and TP up a cuckoo with the bash into his face. They crit him. <laughs> they blow him away. I don't know why they would fight this, but 
They know where they are. The smoke is broken. They jump up through. They get the stun onto Dust. Dust is gone. But they need Enigma as well. They're going to steal some spells. They're going to be the Eidolon Creeks. But there comes the Melford stun. And the Midnight Balls on the back. But no sounds gone. The arm melt swashbuckle there. But three man Dream Calls keeping them in place. Get the Initiate on top of this. Your will fly. But Dream Calls done. Like that's what they want. Arm melt might get caught out here. Dream Calls going to be there. But they're going to be trying to TP him away for the instant. The chance. Oh, a little bit off the mark. But Space Man will be able to find him in the backside. Does get the off. But it won't last forever. And with the end, he can't blink away anymore. Arm finally dies. But actually in the mid lane, they're going to catch somebody else. Pangoli is rolling on through. Cuckoo just trying to get away himself. Does it to blink. Does it to divine forever. But Chen is kind of the easier kill to get if you want it. With the greaves already picked up. Gabby does come in for fight, but that's an easier target for you to get. BKB has been bopped. DB needs to get out of here. But a swashbuckle just being held too late. Tim's blows him away. Space Man is running away. The crossface on him. But Tiny, the big target that they want. They've hazed him down. Now Cuckoo wants some more. Who can he find if it's there? Does get the nice bash. Gets a cross face. But he's going to get a missed chance for at least. Now Tim's in the backside with a pickup if he wants. But he does use the war response. to snowball on the backside to save his life. He's sacrificing his own Space Man. It's knowing when to push and when to run, but... Oh no, DB's been found out! Sun comes from Cuckoo, Dream Calls there, he can't run away, but the Greaves gonna be helping out at least a little bit. Nice little Sun comes out, but can Cuckoo get some more damage coming in? Swashbuckle, a little bit awkward there, but... Yeah, he just gets blown away from RML. And Cuckoo already gonna get TP'd back in by this gen. In fact... Spaceman just deleted. Cuckoo's already back, and they bring back in Tiny. They pick him up. The Avalanche is going to keep him back for now, but Gabby getting tossed in the air, but now he's just going to do some damage to you. Ghost have to save your life, but Troll's a bigger target if you want to take him. Track on to Troll, Tiny, and Dusk. In fact, Nice Sun comes out. It's going to delete Troll. No BKB being used by Troll this time. He's gone, and now Spaceman wants to go through, but the shards blocked him in with him. Now, our Mel's Dream Call onto a Zord is going to control him down, get the damage on the backside. That Crows of Hate is going to help. And this might be three. Go, Scepter. We'll keep them back for now, but I don't think Tiny survives this. Do you? I was just standing forward, breaking any smoke attempts that they would make. The Aegis are already gone. They're going to get Silence onto this bucket least, but. TNC, they're ready to fight. Cuckoo wants to stun you. He's going to find Tiny again. Crossface on to you. Gabby's looking for a better target, though. He wants to delete the Enigma from fight. All the Tusk as well. Here's your BKB pop by Enigma and the Black Hole being used. But there's an Aegis on to this PA. So when that Black Hole runs out, Gabby is going to be back up. Top troll is full HP, but that BKB is about to run out. They're focusing on Tim's in the backside, but that is just a support. And he stole the black hole onto troll. But that's the ult. He's going to pop it up and pop out Tim's. Maybe the control from Gabby. The sun's coming in. They actually saved Tim's because Tim stole troll's ult. Yeah, it doesn't do much. All right, time's going to come in. Throw Gabby onto Tim. Here's BKB pop with troll. Just going to get the black hole onto him. This is a lot of damage. You can't get the same time to go, but Tim's seals the black hole back onto PG. PG's is falling apart. DB's is going to go down too. That's four people going down. And as well, back in his base. The racks are gone. The daggers come out. Jumps on in. Goes to hack with the snowballs there on the backside. Tim's is waiting for a big spell to steal. But picks up Tusk. Puts him back down. There's your midnight pulse. But doesn't do much damage to Gabby at all. And dagger. It just cleans him. It just cleans him up. GG's being killed. They've lost to Tiny as well. They've lost this best of three against TNC. 2-1. 1931.